Hi guys, this is Lauren with Lauren Watkins Art, and today I am back with another digital painting. Now before I go into more detail about what I'm creating, I'd just like to apologize if my voice sounds a little bit off today. I uh, have been battling a really bad cold for the last uh, week and a half, and it's start. I'm starting to feel better, but my voice has not fully come back from it. So if my voice sounds fairly manly and masculine, just to know that it's because of the cold. Now, you might be wondering why I am back with another digital eye painting. When my last uh, YouTube upload was a digital eye painting. Um, I, I, I'm sharing it for several reasons. Uh, this painting is a little bit different than the last one. The last one was a little bit more zoomed out. The main focus was the eye, but you got a lot more of the skin and the eyebrow and the hair that surrounds a portion of the face. Um, and this one is very zoomed in, hyper-focusing on just the eyeball, specifically the iris. And I did this painting um, because after my last eye painting and a few other digital paintings in between, I really wanted to push and see how realistic I could get. I downloaded several more brushes. I watched several YouTube tutorials on um, digital artwork, specifically on using the app Procreate, which is what this was created on. And I wanted to see how far um, I could push it and see what I could um, achieve. Um, being fairly new to digital artwork and I was really really excited with the results and it taught me it was a good reminder of a lesson that I'd learned several years ago um, when I first started back as an artist I started after taking like a six to seven year break from art um, I studied art really uh, regularly in high school, took a lot of art classes and loved it. Every Christmas I got more art supplies. And then after high school, I kind of let fear and doubt stop me from pursuing it more seriously. I was worried I was going to be a starving artist. I was worried that I wouldn't be good enough. I was worried that I wouldn't be able to provide for my family. And I was worried people wouldn't like what I created. And so I didn't pursue it in school. And you all know, if you're an adult, how crazy and busy life gets. And before you know it, months have gone by and you didn't even realize it. And that's kind of what happened to my art. I stopped doing art regularly and eventually I stopped doing it altogether. Um, I did two, um, murals right after high school, but then I pretty much didn't do anything else um, aside from little kid art projects I did as a preschool teacher. And it wasn't until I was in the throes of motherhood. Um, I had three kids that were very close in age and very young, changing multiple kids diapers. Um, I had a husband that was in the middle of medical school and not around to help and it was just chaos and I felt so lost and I felt like my whole life was just revolving around taking care of kids and sleeping and that was it and I didn't want my life to be that and so when I was thinking about what I could do to kind of feel like my old self again that happy person that was creative and spunky and just a go-getter, I realized that I needed to have art back in my life. And so I started painting regularly. And at first, I was incredibly discouraged because I had lost so much of the skill. And I was worried that I wouldn't get it back. It's an irrational fear, but it was a fear. I was, I was incredibly worried about where I'd end up as an artist. And 
if I could get back to where I was even just in high school. And so what I did was I made a deal with myself or I challenged myself to draw every day for 30 days. Now, remember, this is, I had three kids that were less than four years old. And so taking the time to paint regularly was a challenge in itself. And so I, I took it on. Um, some days it was only 10, 15 minutes and I just drew in a little sketchbook I had bought. And some days I spent several hours doing it. I learned to, at that point, I learned to say, you know, it's okay if my kids don't have 100% attention from me all day long. You know, if they're happy playing with their toys, I can, I have permission, I can give myself permission to go work on my own thing. Or it's okay to not clean the house during quiet time and instead work on a piece of art that makes me happy and learning to learning to let all those things that I thought I should be doing go and kind of let them be for a little bit um, was a big milestone and as I worked every day and put forth that effort and that time to draw I saw my skill improved by leaps and bounds. It was insane. I started off that month by only being able to draw very basic things and I and not really happy with it, but I was just going to keep at it to ending that month um, being comfortable in watercolor. Um, having people offer to buy my artwork, which had never happened before. Making huge leaps and bounds in my skill. And I remember ta um, talking to my mom about it and feeling so excited to see that improvement and how it had taught me something that I always knew, that practice was the only way we were going to improve. And I share that story because it's the same with this digital painting. You know, I started doing digital artwork and it was new. It was uncomfortable. I'm comfortable drawing an eye, so that's why I keep painting eyes because it's something I'm comfortable with. But using the medium is something that I'm not comfortable with. It's a new territory for me. And... I took the same approach with that as I did when I first started art. I watched YouTube tutorials. I learned as much as I could about it. And then I practiced. And I practiced and I practiced and I practiced. This painting, I believe, took me about 15 hours altogether to do. And there's still a lot of back and forth and tweaking because I'm still learning how to do this. But if you look at this painting versus the one I did, the last one I shared of an eye, you can see that progress I make. You can see the fruits of my labor of consistently practicing and pushing myself. And I think we fall into the trap sometimes as artists that if we don't, that, that we are born talented and that, you know, if we're not born talented, then we won't be artists. But really, the true talent isn't our art skill. The true talent is being able to practice even when it makes us uncomfortable. To practice something even when we don't want to. And I want you guys to remember that. That the only way you're going to become a better artist is by doing. And I want you guys to become better. I want you guys to reach your fullest potential. And I don't want you guys to live in fear that you're not good enough or hold yourself back because you're a fear of you're afraid of rejection or that what you're creating isn't as good as what you think someone else is creating. I want you guys to focus on what you can control, which is 
how much you practice and how much you learn. And I think if we changed our mindset in society instead of saying, oh, you're so skilled at that, and instead of saying, I can tell that you have worked really hard to develop that skill. I think we would feel better about ourselves and I think we would encourage others to keep trying and to keep practicing. So with that said, I hope you have a fantastic day and I hope you remember to keep trying and to keep pushing yourself as an artist. That's the only way we're gonna grow and improve. See ya, bye.